Hey there, my name's Chris and I'm the chapter coordinator and a volunteer for the Low Country South Carolina Heroes on the Water. I'd like to take the chance to present to you a friend of mine who I've met through uh, this wonderful organization and my time volunteering with it. His name is Harold and he would like to talk to you a little bit about what Heroes on the Water means to him and what a grant from uh, the Raise Your Voice program would do in terms of offering folks like Harold the opportunity to continue to participate in therapeutic kayak fishing into 2021. Hey, my name's uh, Harold Clark. I'm a 100% disabled veteran. My, uh, my time in the military was, I was a uh, Army. I started in the Army in 1996 and I got out medical discharge in 2008 due to injuries in Iraq. I was born and raised in West Virginia. I'm a, I love the outdoors. I love kayaking, I love fishing, I love hunting. The first time with Heroes on the Water, I was just surfing the internet on Facebook just to find organizations out there. And uh, Heroes on the Water popped up and I got on their Facebook and found out more about it and then I applied for in a, one of the events in my area. I got involved with Heroes on Water about two years ago, and I've been on about five or six events with them since then. Heroes on the Water offers me the opportunity to, to get outdoors and go fishing because I love being on the water instead of being in the house all cooped up. And I can be with other veterans and um, have fun on the water being with them. By being a part of Hero, Heroes on the Water, I get the chance to go fishing. And outside of Heroes on the Water, it gives me opportunity to meet other veterans, to get out in the community and get out outdoors instead of being isolated with myself because I have severe PTSD and I need to get out and do something with my life and I'd rather go out and do something with an organization that helps me from a day-to-day -day basis. Heroes on the Water provides me the safety that I need to go out. They offer uh, kayaks, the fishing rods, that gives us free lunch, free snacks, free water. You know, they, they, the whole nine yards, they, they give me free, it's all free. Only thing I, I, I gotta do is show up. The people I met through Heroes in the Water are friends, but I tend more to tend they're more family because I grown close to them and I feel like a, a brother to them. They're they're my brother or my sister or a dad or a mom. Without Heroes in the Water I wouldn't have been begin on about kayaking and fishing because of my st my stability with my traumatic brain injury that I have. So I got a lot of, a lot of stable issues about wobbling. And the first time I went on a kayak with Heroes on the Water was, was at the Goose Creek Reservoir. And I tried to paddle and throw a fish, a fishing rod and how I fish, I, t I tend to, to go and I just fell over in the water. That and that scared, scared me half to death, especially being in Goose Creek Reservoir with a bunch of gators. I was like, I was done. With my PTSD, it, it contributes to helps me being outdoors around other, other veterans, other people who wants to support me instead of me being isolated and shut and shut sh shut doors behind. So Heroes on the Water opened a lot of doors for me about opening up myself to other people and to the organization to help me out to live a better life. If you are a veteran, a first responder, or a disabled veteran like myself, to taking that first step to get out outside of your isolated rooms is a big step. I know it was a big step for me because I hated being in that room by myself all the time. 
but I made a commitment to myself to live and to be a part of something. So I made that jump up out and my heart feels to go outside the box to go meet somebody so I won't be alone. And I'm, I'm, I'm thank God I met Chris through Heroes on Water because he, he has saved my life sometimes in Heroes on Water because they mean so much to me. They're, they're like family right now.